Ow. My back. That was so painful. I threw my back out this morning going for a run. What am I, 90 years old? Why is it happening? My girlfriend's all into the Chinese medicine and she enlightened me as to why it happened and made perfect sense. I just have to relay the message. So I've started jogging. Just, it's been fun. I don't know what happened. I went downstairs one day to throw out some trash and then I was like, I got the urge to sprint. And I just like, I started running and ran around the block. And then I was like, ah, oh, cool. And then I bought a stopwatch and I've been doing it, trying to beat my time. My times are embarrassing. I just looked up the Olympic record. It was something like a minute and 44 seconds. I was like, all right, let's see what I got. It's like four and a half minutes. Even the old granny section beat me. The 80 year old women and up. But I've been slowly knocking down that time. It's about an 800 meter run and I do it in barefoot sandals. So don't put me in your league with runners. You're running, it's so much easier with running shoes, but I'd like to challenge myself like our ancestors would, homeless. Today, I somehow broke my record three minutes and 25 seconds, even though I tweaked my back midway through, I just kept running through it. That's probably why I'm in so much pain now. Ah, oh, that was stupid. But, so here's what happens. This has happened twice to me. I ran too fast, too hard, and it just hurts my lungs so much. I used to smoke weed for like 14 years. I haven't smoked in over 10, I don't know how long it's been, long ass time. But lungs still have some healing to do. This will all tie into the back, trust me. So initially when I was going for my jog, it was a very light jog, and I'm not stressing myself at all. And then I got the stopwatch and I timed it and I was like, I want to beat that. And so I'm pushing myself. And the first time it just hurt my lungs so much. Like I got home and I was like, ow, and I'm out of breath obviously. And for the next like four hours, I'm like coughing. Like I got that tickle in the lungs. And I'm like, ah. and so today, I don't know why I took it serious. An Olympic fever maybe. And I'm seeing people, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start sprinting as soon as I hit the clock as if it's a race. And so boom, I go for it and I'm like, once I round the corner, I'm looking at my time, I'm like, I'm way ahead of schedule, and I kept up the pace, and then about halfway through, I'm like, how the hell am I going to keep up this pace? I couldn't. So I slowed down a bit, but my lungs are burning, and then my back tweaks, and I just, I sprinted off the finish, beat my time, died upstairs. And so I saw my girlfriend, told her I threw my back out, I'm an old ass man, but I still love you. And she said, oh, where does it hurt? And it's like, up here, the top. And she said, oh, that's lung channel. Cause she's all into these meridians and that's how she heals people. She's a acupuncturist and she knows like your left shoulder hurts. And it's like, oh, okay, how's this pain? Ow. Like this part should hurt to connect with that. And then if it does, she acupunctures that spot and then the pain magically disappears. So it's magic work. I don't know how she does it. So she said, oh, lung channel. And then she does these spots on me. These are so painful. It's this whole meridian here is the lung channel. And I'm like, it still hurts a lot. But it just got me thinking, like with my mind, I'm thinking, oh, my diet sucks. I'm clogged up lymphatically. I'm a weak old malnourished vegan. My back is falling apart. But no, it's my lungs that are damaged and falling apart due to my vegan diet. And that's fantastic news. Now I know how to fix it. I think going for these runs is helping. I've never done like a cardio program to heal those lungs and now I'm doing it. So we just have to have mild back surgery and then we'll be good to go. It's so painful. Have you ever had it? It's just like it tenses up something like a spasm. It's just it's sharp pain. Ugh. Why did I grocery shop today? Even in this pain, I was like, I should go. It was the most painful grocery shop I ever did. I bought a bunch of potatoes. Newsflash for you. Potatoes so far, not giving me acne. Huh? I've had two potato meals. Oh, where is this train heading? Some were good. Some were good. There's no comfortable position. And my girlfriend's not allowed to acupuncture me because we're in a relationship. I would have to dump her ass and, and then she could do it. But she might be mad at me at that point.
but I just wanted to bring that connection to you that there's all these connections to your organs and your spine or your knee. Like maybe you have knee pain, but a certain part of your knee connects to the lung or the brain or the liver or something. So then you find the channel, just go see an acupuncturist. They're genius, not all of them. Mainstream acupuncture I think is designed to not be very effective just to water it down. But my girlfriend found some Dr. Tan or something and he's like this secret healer. He's just so, he brings the magic that we need. So find one, a Dr. Tan acupuncturist, and then you might get somewhere. Ow, that's pain. So just wanted to inspire you that some of the pain in your body is likely connected to an organ and it's not the pain in your knee that is the problem. It's actually a worse problem that your organs are suffering and damaged, but they're harder to fix than a knee would be. So I've just demotivated you. You're dying. All right, I'm gonna go lay on the floor. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I know I will. I know you'll thumb up the video too, to cheer me up. I'm in pain. Every thumb down brings more sadness to my heart. And what, what will that do? My left knee? Sadness in my heart? Thanks. I know why you're doing it. Because you tried running around your block in sandals. And your time was seven minutes. Even. An embarrassing effort. You were winded, sweating putrid, s disgusting meat sipping out of your armpits. Oh God, who would want to see that? Sad creature of the night you are. I'm gonna go lay down. Thanks for watching. And buying a vegetable police t-shirt or an I'm still hungry shirt. I'm vegan and hungry. I'll go after you subscribe.